Hello, this is a composition of functions. Today we're going to be learning how to compose functions together. So here we have our function f of x, which is equal to the square root of x minus 2. And we have our function g of x, which is equal to 2x. Now the composition of functions, or f of g of x, can also be written as f of g of x, which means that whenever we see an x in f, we're going to put our entire function g of x into that. So we're going to say f of what is g of x? It is 2x. And then we're going to put that in for our x in the equation. So we have the square root of 2x minus 2 because our x was 2x. Now you can also do it with values. So below we see that we have f of g of 3. So here we're going to say f of g of 3. So we're going to find g of 3 first. So we say, okay, what is g of 3? g of 3 is going to equal 2 times 3, which is 6. So therefore, we're finding f of 6, which is the square root of 6 minus 2, which is going to equal the square root of 4, which is 2. So therefore, f of g of 3 equals 2. Looking at another example, we have f of x equals 3x squared minus 3, and g of x equals x plus 1. Here is our f of x, and here is our g of x. So again, we're taking the composition of those, f of g of x. So whenever we see our f, we're going to put our g of x into it. So when we write that out, we have our 3. Then what is our g of x? It is x plus 1. And then that is squared minus 3. So we've written f of g of x. Remember that we're finding f when x is x plus 1, because that is our g of x. These are the same things. So then we're going to simplify this a bit more. So x plus 1 squared is equal to x plus 1 times x plus 1, so we have to FOIL here, which is x squared plus 1x plus 1x plus 1, because we've distributed the first term to both and the second term to both. So then we combine like terms here. We have x squared plus 2x plus 1. So then we're going to put that in to our equation. So we have 3 times x squared plus 2x plus 1 minus 3. And we're going to simplify that further by distributing the 3 to all those terms. 3x squared plus 6x plus 3 minus 3. Now the positive 3 and the negative 3 cancel out, so we get 3x squared plus 6x as our final answer for the composition of f of ng of x. Now, again, we can do this with a value. So we're going to find f of g of negative 1. So first we have to find g of negative 1, which is going to be negative 1 plus 1, which is 0. So now we're finding f of g of negative 1, which is actually f of 0. So we're going to plug in 0 whenever we see x in the equation. So we have 3 times 0 squared minus 3. And 0 squared is 0. So we have 3 times 0 minus 3. 3 times 0 is 0. 0 minus 3 equals negative 3. Therefore, the solution to f of g of negative 1 is negative 3. Looking at two more problems, I'd like you to try them on your own. We have f of x equals x minus 3, and g of x equals 2x plus 5. So please try f of g of x and f of g of 0.
Thank you for listening.